Carpal tunnel syndrome is a very common condition of the wrist and forearm that affects over 3 million Americans every year. It is brought on by many factors, but most significantly, age and excessive use of the wrist and fingers. As we age and use our hands for everyday tasks, the muscles around the carpal tunnel region begin to stiffen. This then forces the tendons to put pressure on the nerves stored in the carpal tunnel. This causes pain, numbness, and tingling sensations in the hand that can last for days, weeks, or even months. Carpal tunnel syndrome will often get better with aid, with rest, but for those who work excessively with their hands, it is a chronic condition that will never go away. Especially in cases of elderly people, carpal tunnel syndrome will last the rest of their lives unless some form of treatment is taken. Current methods of relieving the pain are extremely risky and expensive. Carpal tunnel relief surgery is a common solution for severe symptoms but only has a 43% success rate. And if the surgery is successful, the patient must then have consecutive surgeries to remove scar tissue built up from previous surgeries. If this tissue is not removed, it can cause even more intense symptoms. There are many alternative measures to surgery, the most successful of which is physical therapy. A technique has been developed by professional physical therapists which have become very popular because it effectively relieves all symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome. This option is far less risky than surgery but still requires consecutive sessions for continual relief and can become expensive. The technique involves stretching the wrist for up to 15 minutes to open the carpal tunnel as well as a deep tissue massage of the forearm to release tendon pressure at the wrist. If this technique can be mimicked by a machine, it would revolutionize the way people obtain relief by offering a less risky, cost-effective solution to carpal tunnel syndrome. This is the inspiration for the carpal tunnel relief massager. Working together with mechanical engineering students and physical therapists, the machine will be designed with the contour of the human forearm and wrist in mind, as well as the motion of the professional carpal tunnel relief massage. Our device is organized into two parts. A stationary apparatus that will house the hand of the user and stretch the center channel of the wrist in opposing and outward directions, and a deep tissue forearm massager with one rolling rod that will contour the forearm slightly and move from the inside bend of the elbow to about one inch from the wrist. The hand component has the simplest design of the two. It will consist of two rubber pads contoured to the shape of the hand, connected to move in unison on both sides of the hand. Since the palm of the hand is almost symmetrical, with the exception of the thumb, the stretching sensation should feel almost identical on both sides of the hand. This allows the device to be ambidextrous with only a slightly stronger stretch on the side of the hand where the thumb is. The thumb is. However, the goal of stretching the carpal tunnel ligament will be effectively achieved. To allow room for the hand to stretch, it will rest on a comfortable yet firm pad centered under the hand. The pad will be mounted on a base at an angle that is comfortable for the user. When they rest their arm in the device, the rubber pads pulling on the hand will be perpendicular to this angle for maximum force on the hand. The rubber pads for the palm will be mounted with a steel bracket that will go under the platform where the hand is resting. The center of the bracket will be bolted to a lead screw connected to a stepper motor. There will be a load cell bar between the lead screw and bracket to measure the proper force exerted by the motor so, so as not to hurt the client. As the motor rotates, it will exert force down, pulling the rubber pads to the hand and stopping once it reaches the proper pressure. The exact pressure can be modified up to 20 pounds. This was the maximum recommended pressure by physical therapists. The arm component of the design will consist of several sub-components. First, it will be the base on which a user will place their arm, as well as the housing for the electrical components. It will be made of aluminum on all sides except one. The remaining side will be made of plexiglass to show the inner workings of the device. It will also have a comfortable yet firm pad on top that slightly contours the arm and will connect to the angled base of the hand component. Second. It will have a frame over the length of the arm that will be mounted to the base which supports the massaging unit of the device. A stepper motor will be attached to the end of the frame with an 11 inch lead screw to guide a large guide bracket. This will control the movement of the unit as it rolls up and down the forearm. The guide bracket will have a hole on each side of the lead screw to help guide it along the frame. Lastly, the massaging unit will consist of a 3-inch roller connected on both ends to a steel bracket. 
This bracket will be mounted inside the larger guide bracket with rails to allow the smaller bracket, along with the roller, to move up and down. Through the top of both brackets will be the lead screw of another stepper motor. This motor will be mounted to the top of the guide bracket and will move with the unit forward and back. Between both brackets attached to the lead screw will be another load cell to measure pressure, pressure on the forearm. This motor and load cell configuration is the same as the hand except the maximum recommended pressure for the arm is 40 pounds.